And now we're going to be continuing on with the rest of the hair cut. I want to join the top that we've just cut into the sides. Now, you may notice that there's some shears in my hand. I'm going to be point cutting these two sections together and I'm going to be using the Jatai switchblade shears. What's fabulous about these shears, number one, they come in three different sizes, 4.5 all the way to 7.5. The thing that's great about these shears is that anytime you feel like they're losing their edge or they're not quite working right for you, you can just switch the blade immediately and it's razor sharp again. So that is a huge benefit. You don't have to send your shears out to a sharpener. You don't have to get loaner shears that you're not used to. You can use your same shears every day. If they're dull, fix it right there in seconds. So anyway, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna join the top of this section through into the sides. But the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna point cut with our shears and join the two together. Make sure that we have a consistent line. Again, pick it up, play with it, move it around, see if there's a good connection between the two. It looks fabulous to me, so I'm gonna continue working forward. Again, our sections are connecting with each other. So the top section is joining through to the bottom section. Lots of texture all the way throughout this haircut. We've used multiple tools already, and that's a good thing because we've gone through texture all the way through. This is not a blunt lined haircut. Keep moving it, see if you like your result. Like I said, always step back, look at your work. Don't focus on one particular spot. Moving forward into the hair, this is where we start to over direct back like we did on all the previous sections on the sides and on the top. Again, to maintain some of that length at the front so that our client can have some hair to play with. Last section on this side, over directing back, point cut all the way through, using the shears to get a lot of texture. I already like the way the motion of her hair is taking that up already. It looks very good. I'm very happy. So then we're going to be moving on to the other side and repeat this whole technique and join it all together. Now we're moving on to the other side of the haircut. Again, picking up the same section as we did initially. We're joining the top, point cutting through into that side section just to connect the two together. Like I said previously, we're not looking for a hard line, we're looking for very textured, just like the rest of the haircut, just to get the connection between the two. The length on top to the length at the top of the side section. Point cut it out, again, feel it, move it around, see if you like the look of it. You can always change it, but we have to be happy with our work as we go through it. Next section in front, this is one that we'll be bringing the other sections back to. So this is our last solid section. Now, the second before last, we'll be over directing back to the point we just cut the hair so that we maintain some length in the front. Last section, we don't really need to move our finger position because we're over directing to the same point. Okay, and now we're gonna have a look around, see how our haircut's sitting, see how our texture is, see what we like and what we don't like. And now we can find the areas of the haircut that we feel need more manipulation, more technique to go all the way through.